Okay, welcome to my session called Rock the Classroom, Personalized Playlist and Amplified Learning. I'm David Madigan, <clears throat> and if you need to register, there's the link to register for NC Bold for today. Uh, so a little bit about myself. Uh, I am David Madigan. I am a high school uh, art and AP art history teacher, and I work for Pitt County Schools uh, in Greenville, North Carolina. Um, I have a family of, of four children and my beautiful wife, Beth. Uh, I'm currently playing pickleball. I really enjoy uh, cooking, eating foods, and traveling the world, camping, and um, and building things and fishing as well. So we just recently got back from uh, a European trip. So uh, super excited for that. So if you will, uh, join me on the uh, bit.ly. Uh, you may type in the, the bit.ly link or you can click these links are available for you as well. And, and our goal today is we're going to explore uh, playlists and how they're effective uh, in your classroom for personalized learning. So you will be forced to make a copy. And is that is, is making itself a copy. This is an editable copy by yourself. Uh, and you can obviously take and do uh, what you will with this particular copy. So <clears throat> as a participant in my session today, uh, your, your goal will be to uh, learn what a playlist is, uh, actually uh, learn about a playlist by using a playlist, and then, of course, getting into the mindset of how can you take this and adapt this to your particular role, whether it be classroom teacher, IC, et cetera. So the goal is to, to go through, and uh, as, a, as a session presenter, I'll explain to you the way that we do this. So if you look at this briefly, um, this is how a playlist is set up, and it's sort of a self-paced um, uh, assignment. And so students or, or participants are able to go through at their own pace. Uh, there's independent work, there's some small group work, there's some one-on-one -on -one work with, with the teacher or the presenter. And so you'll kind of get a, an understanding of how that works. So if we take a look, um, there's a pathway and that's on the left. That's exactly how you'll kind of navigate through uh, the, the playlist. And then the second area, the directions, that sort of explains to you what you'll be doing with that particular pathway. Uh, there is a section for notes <clears throat> or additional resources that you are welcome to uh, type or add things here. And if you find something that's interesting, you can drop that in there as well. And that would be for the presenter or the teacher to take a look at to possibly make some adjustments or additions. And then finally, the date completed column. This is where you just sort of simply, you would put in the date uh, that you would complete uh, that task. Now, since we're doing this uh, in a 90-minute in a session, that is not super relative here, but that is sort of that check the box for your students uh, as they'd be able to assess that um, uh, in the classroom. So uh, path one, <clears throat> what exactly is a playlist in education? Here you have choice. You can click this video or click this article and uh, take a few moments to learn exactly what a playlist is. It sounds like music and it is similar, but it's not necessarily music. It's more of educational uh, tasks that students will complete. Here you click and you can post um, uh, onto the Padlet. Uh, what exactly is a playlist? So in your own words, what is your response based on your learning that you learned from uh, either the video or article? So you have choice uh, with pathway number one. Number two um, is an article read. So what are some advantages for uh, teachers uh, in the classroom by using a playlist? And so uh, by clicking that link, uh, it will take you to an article for you to scan over. And then on the Jamboard here, it does ask you to uh, post of the three advantages, because you'll see there are three listed, uh, which one do you feel is the most um, uh, important for teachers? And so by placing a sticky note, you can sort of explain, uh, for example, if you feel like using a playlist is a great way to combat unproductive behaviors in the classroom, you may post there and maybe explain why you think that and or um, how it might can be used in your role. I, I definitely agree with reason number three. Uh, so once you get that completed, um, if you will, here's what we call Madigan Minute. So I'll be in the, the area, uh, in the, the classroom or the, the room in which we're presenting in, and here's where you would actually get up from your seat and you'd come see me, and I've got a question for you. Um, and for this particular one, this is more like a get-to-know-you question, so you'll choose. You'll answer the question, I'll answer the question, and then you'll head back to your seat. Now, you might be thinking this is kind of cheesy. However, in a classroom setting, how could you use this as an enrichment activity or, or things such as that? So that's kind of the idea. But for me, it's more of a get to know you question for this particular session. Number three, you explore some samples. Uh, here, I've given a hyperdoc and a traditional playlist sample, which in fact, what we're looking at right now is a traditional playlist. And a hyperdoc is another way to organize this information uh, to make some independent and personalized learning. So just simply have a chance to explore. And then, uh, in the column, the notes column to the right, uh, you'll respond, which format do you feel like is more accommodating to your role? Okay, number four, your task here is to actually vote. So you will vote on this link here, and you will choose uh, whether you think a traditional playlist, a hyperdoc format, 
neither format or both formats would work for your role. We're just going to collect some data to see what we feel like is uh, uh, beneficial for us. You can click the link or you can use your phone and scan the QR code. We're trying to make this accessible to all. Uh, number five, uh, we'll take a brain break. So here's where you, when you get to this point, uh, you would hop up and come over to a different station in the classroom. And I have a word search that, that's uh, a very variety of words uh, dealing with uh, playlist. Again, this is something that's sort of a, just a small individual activity for this particular session, but always be thinking how could you adapt or change this to modify for your particular role to engage student learning, individually, whatever your subject and or uh, content area may be. Uh, here, number six, I'd like for us to check the voting results. So by this time, there should be some updates on voting results we should be able to take a look at, and that's a, a running voting result list. Okay, uh, when you get to number seven, uh, here are uh, uh, blank documents, HyperDoc blank and a playlist blank. And I'm going to click on the HyperDoc blank for this particular recording just so we can take a look. And of course, making yourself a copy. And you can continue to make multiple, multiple copies. So here uh, I've included sort of a, a type over. You, you're welcome to uh, take this and, and run this for what you wish. Uh, okay. And so uh, you've already seen an example like this in the previous part of the playlist. So how could you create this or how could you start thinking in the mindset of making this for your students or, or your particular uh, group in which you're, you're planning on working with? There's a playlist example as well. Um, again, um, here are some other examples of HyperDoc playlists uh, of what you can use in the classroom. You can choose a variety of these to take a look at. And, and this is explore time. You can use as much time as you wish uh, as an individual learner for that particular area. And we're getting close to the end. Um, we do want to make sure we, we, we have some planning time. So you have choice here. For this particular part, you can either use my document or you can grab a printed copy because I'll provide some paper copies for those people who are interested. And essentially, this is a, a sort of a planning sheet as what you're going to do. So think about an objective. Think about a unit. Think about a, a big idea. Like, what do you want your students to do? Or what do you want your audience to do? And, and then how would they get there? What are some activities that they would lead up to that final assessment, that formative or informative assessment? And here's where you have a chance to really think about exactly what's going to go down. And from this planning sheet, you would better take this content and plug it into a traditional playlist or plug it into a traditional hyperdoc. And that's the idea. Here's the great news about these. These are renewable. These are reusable. You modify these after you teach them a couple of different times. And they're great, great resources that are continually used by uh, teachers. Number 10 will be share out. Take a moment and simply share out your uh, ideas with another participant from items eight and nine. So what are some ideas that you had from number eight and nine? It's simply just share individually there. Number 11 will have a chance to debrief. Uh, as, as a large group. And then number 12 uh, is uh, an opportunity to, for you to fill out the NC Bold evaluation based on this session here. And then finally, as an enrichment activity, number 13 would be optional. I've included a screencast that I made years ago uh, explaining how I use a playlist in my classroom. And we, again, these enrichment things would be on a playlist for those students who finish early. Uh, and there could be a variety of things, hands-on activities associated with that. Um, so thank you for uh, 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 entertaining my session. I hope you have a chance to make uh, a great playlist, either a, a traditional one or a hyperdoc for your classroom or for your role. I guarantee you'll use these and continually use these uh, in your education time. Thank you.